God must do something. How to be alone with God? When Jacob, from the Bible, when Jacob was tired, go to the book of Genesis, chapter 32, verse 22 to 27. Read that place very well. The account of Jacob, alone with God. You have to be quiet. In your quietness, you can do a lot of things. How to be alone with God. In your loneliness, you will hear how God speaks to people. When you are alone, you will meditate. Well, you should not meditate about your poverty. You should not meditate about your failure. Meditate about the word of God. The word of God that says yes and amen. The word of God that shower us with blessing. The word of God is the final say. The word of God, it finish up every race of life that we are running. The race of empty. The Bible in the book of Zechariah says, vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. Yes. How to be alone with God. You go down. It, Jacob. Without to Jacob is blessed. When you look at the story of Jacob very well. He has two wives. Eleven children. Is he a poor man again? He don't know his own time. There is no car. But he has a lot of camel. And they say his house, his house, his, his house boys. And housemates. And more and, and numerous. His property are uncountable. But still, he's not satisfied with the position he is. Some of you, you, you have nothing. But you are satisfied. He said, God, hold yourself. I like the way I am. Me, I'm not satisfied. God, you must do something. Yes. Say this to yourself. Oh, Lord, my Father. I am your put the project in your hand. You will not let me alone. You must do something. Say this word seven times. Anytime God open your eyes in the night, from 12 in the midnight till 3, this is the hour of the prayer. If within this period, if God open.